Okay, so the last part I'd like to explain a little bit is the plot layers. Um, if you look at the bottom of the screen here, you're going to see some things that I've put in, just some numbers, or some names, sorry. So I see spring 2016, ground fish, fall 2015, my spots. Uh, these are names that I just typed in uh, myself. If you see right most button here, changes labels, you can actually go there and adjust what you're seeing there. So if I would say this layer here, layer D, I can right click on it. Uh, it tells me how many objects are stored in it. I can rename it and say uh, uh, fall 2016, for instance. And it renames that plot layer to what I've named it. So what these are, are basically picture them like file cabinets. So you have, I believe, 66 in total. It's in the 60s anyway. Um, and you store your marks tracks in different ones if you choose to. You can put them all in one. Uh, but if you choose to do this, you can separate your information, which is kind of nice. So if I click some of these on, you're going to see a bunch of marks and stuff come back on the screen. Again, these don't come with the OLEX system. They're just samples from customers uh, that they've allowed us to uh, just be able to play with in the shop and, and use this demonstration. So if you look at these toes, and uh, anyone who has Olex down in this area probably have seen a lot of this stuff. Um, but if you look, these areas here, if I click these layers on or off, you'll see marks disappear or reappear. Okay, same thing, different ones here. Fall 2016, there's a few there, my spots. G, there's a bunch there, and H. So what's nice is you can separate your fishery um, where you're putting your information and let's if we zoom out here you'll see there's a bunch of green and maroon tracks here um, there's a bunch there and I can go to these layers so I can go to the spring 2016 for instance and I right click on it, it tells me I have 51,000 objects so if I zoom out they're all flashing yellow all the ones that are stored into that file cabinet so if I want to do something with those, I could delete all those, I could save all those without saving all my other stuff, or I could move them to a separate plot layer. So I could go put them on layer I, for instance. And I say, ah, yes, do I really want to reassign? Yes. So now if I look, 2016 doesn't have anything, but all of a sudden, they're on I. So you can move your stuff around. If you want to get even a little more detailed, you can use the liner symbol feature. And the liner symbol feature says, I'm only going to apply it to a certain amount of items. So my red triangles, I have 60 of them. So I can go here and let me pick a big one here. So here's my black lines, I believe. So I've got 410 of them. So I could delete them, save them, do whatever. I'm going to put them back over in my spring 2016 folder. So I click on that one. I just hit OK. I said, do you really want to reassign? Yes. So now when I go back to, I can shut all the other ones off. Spring 2016, there's all my lines that I had deleted. Well, that I had moved, sorry. Again, so it's just a way to sort your information. Uh, we have a lot of customers that might go fishing for one species. They could be down here, for instance. They could be fishing for one species down here and then later in the year for a different, total different type of fishery and they're able to separate their information. So really nice feature there, uh, being able to separate the information. Now again, if you saw some of the previous modules with marks and tracks and setting defaults, you have one menu, it's under layers and default settings for new data. And in there, this tells me when I make a track or event mark, what file cabinet do I store it to or what plot layer. Um, so if I'm going now, all my stuff are going underground fish. Uh, you've got tracks and event marks. You've got radar, ARPA targets, AIS, uh, underwater targets such as trawl, ROV, and sonar, and all other kinds of plotter objects. Uh, this is basically routes, lines, and areas. So if I want to go ground fishing, I've done my ground fishing season. Now I want to go into spring 2016. I go click on the spring 2016, but 
I have to unclick these. If I don't, it stores it on both and then it's not separated. It still saves it, but it's not separated. So once you've done that selection, you click OK. And then from now on, everything's going to be saved to spring 2016 unless you tell it otherwise. So again, really nice way to to store your data, separate your data, and manage it um, just so you don't get such a cluster of information. Um, so if I'm looking at a spot like this, you know, it's very, very congested, uh, but I can go in and start peeling layers off uh, to be able to see things like that. I could pick an individual track here, say like that one, shut everything else off. And there's that one track line in there. So really nice feature, uh, again, that's the plot layers, just allows you some management of your track plotter data and event marks.